The following program is rated TV MAL. It contains strong language and is intended only for mature audiences. Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Donald J. Trump, lucky or blessed? There are three possible reasons for Donald J. Trump's mortality and inches away from immortality. Number one, to put to rest the debunked prediction portrayed in the so-called animated show that aired in February 2017, The Simpsons, an episode of the death of John J. Trump 2024. Number two, the warning, mercy, grace, and the patience of God for the attention of the man and ultimately salvation in his son, Jesus Christ. Number three, God has a much bigger plan and assignment through Donald J. Trump, unbeknownst to him, for the American people on both sides of the aisle living in America. Predestination or chance? If you're a five-point Calvinist and hold to the acronym TULIP, you may agree with number two and number three in part. TULIP, the letter T, total depravity. Human nature is corrupted by sin and unable to choose or do good apart from God's grace. TULIP, the letter U, unconditional election. God chooses some people to be saved according to his sovereign will not based on any merit or foreseen faith in them. Tula, the letter L. Limited atonement. Christ died only for the elect, securing their salvation and guaranteeing its application. Tula, the letter I. Irresistible grace. God's grace is effectual and cannot be resisted or rejected by the elect, who are regenerated and enabled to believe and repent. Tulip, the letter P, Perseverance of the Saints. The elect are kept by God's power and will never fall away from the state of grace. What does Tulip have to do with Donald J. Trump? If five-point Calvinists are correct, if and when number 45 wins the election and outlives 2024 and truly receives and accepts salvation in Jesus Christ, it will have all been predestinated before the foundations of the world. However, what comes with number 47 has also been predestinated and we don't know what that looks like until it happens. But here are a few such possibilities and probabilities that are brewing within our nation's climatic environment. The threat of civil war.
starts a couple of months old. And if you uh, want to really see something that said, take a look at what happened. Oh. Fist up or thumbs up? Is thumbs up a sign of weakness and fist up a sign of strength? If you say it depends on the circumstances, how's about these circumstances? Remember, it's all predestinated. Remember, they fought, 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 and we fight for this. 264 years of American slavery. 89 years of segregation and 61 years of mass incarceration. Make America great again? How far back and for whom? The thing about predestination, according to Calvinists, is that sin and evil exist in the world and there is no such thing as free will. So, nothing happens by chance. Will sin and evil cause America to implode from within? Or will number 47 and the influences of a sovereign God's wrath, judgment, mercy, and grace through his son intervene? Take a look at some of the contentions leading up to an ultimate implosion. Race wars. Sex trafficking. The poor and marginalized. Church and spiritual corruption. Social, political, and economical unrest. Black Lives Matter. Hate, racism, and neo-fascism. LGBTQIA. Lawlessness. Gun control. Sex discrimination. Rape, murder, theft, and crime. Pro and anti abortionists. Sexual immorality. Gender identity wars. Critical race theory. Immigration crisis. Drugs and alcohol. Social and political corruption. Pride. Insurrection. Illegal drugs. Drugs and alcohol addictions. Social Security, Medicare, and Medicaid concerns. Suicide.
welfare. Criminal justice reform. Public school reform. Islamophobia. Anti Semitism. Christian persecution. Inclusion. Canceled culture. Veterans and health benefits. Police brutality. Labor wage discrepancy. Housing and rental costs. Food, gas, and electricity costs. Riots and protests. Looting and vandalism. Social media and bullying. Chosen by God and Jesus Christ, we are no longer of this world, but in this world. And the world, much like ourselves, needed Jesus Christ. And by His Holy Spirit and the Gospel, the good news of salvation, we, unlike number 47, have no arterial motives. Let us continue to pray for both the spiritual and natural leaders of and in this world who exercise both God's judgment and mercy on the earth. What must I do to be saved? Believe in the Lord Jesus and you will be saved. God has already done all of the work. All you must do is receive in faith the salvation God offers. Fully trust in Jesus alone as the payment for your sins. Believe in Him and you will not perish. God is offering you salvation as a gift. All you have to do is accept it. Jesus is the way of salvation. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Thank you for watching. And may God through Jesus Christ both bless you and yours and keep you safe. Amen.